Closed captioning provided by. Did go off? Hey. hey. The elevator has a simple design, consisting of a few key, key components. Fisher Technic switches are placed in two different heights, while a motor attached to a gearbox are placed on a vertical track. And of course, all electrical components are wired up to the MIDAC by National Instruments. Uh, here's a cleaner view of the circuitry. The main component of the elevator is the elevator itself, which is connected up to output 1. We require control of both the on and off state of the motor, as well as control over the direction it travels. To achieve this, we wire direction 1 to diode 0 and enable 1 to diode 1. We do this so that when programming in LabVIEW, we can send signals to the diode that corresponds with either the, the direction or on and off state of the motor. Of course, to wire the Fisher Technic switches to the MIDAC, we use a 10K resistor to prevent a short circuit. While while wiring each switch up to their own diode. We, con we connect uh, switch 1 up to diode 2 and switch 2 up to diode 3. We now have control within LabVIEW of all our elevator components. To get started, we need to open up our program in LabVIEW. Here, we navigate to our LabVIEW file name, Parallel Programming. Once open, press Ctrl along with T on the keyboard, which will bring up both the front panel and block diagram. Here is our elevator program. On the front panel is an LED indicator and switch for both floors of the elevator. Pressing the second floor switch on the front panel will have the elevator move upwards and stop when it reaches the second floor. Pressing the floor 1 switch will have the elevator travel downwards until it reaches the first floor. The LED indicators will light up when the elevator reaches the desired floor. The program's full proof in this case that if the elevator were to sit on floor 2, the floor 2 switch won't have any effect. In the block diagram, we see that there's a section of code for each of the floor switches. The code for each switch is nearly identical, except that the floor 1 direction output is inverted, having it travel down rather than up. The rest of the code says that when a floor switch is pressed from the front panel, a signal will be sent to turn on the motor in the appropriate direction until a signal from the Fisher Technic switch reaches the stop button in the while loop. This means that one once the elevator runs over the switch, the elevator will stop. When no switch has been pressed on the block diagram, LabVIEW will run the false case, which says nothing more, but if the Fisher Technic switch is pushed in, its respective LED indicator will light up until released. Hey, yo, Metro,